Good evening friends, Paul here. In a previous video I was demonstrating how to block electromagnetic field radiation, that's EMFs, in the home demonstrating with radio signals and 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi signal um, with aluminum foil. And I've gotten tons of comments recently, especially from those of you who are affected by 5G cell phone towers that are going up. Some of you have even posted that you've done experiments with multiple sheets of aluminum foil and you cannot block the signal of a phone call at 60 gigahertz on the 5G cell networks now. That's right. I'm still on LTE or 4G at about 750 megahertz on Verizon. That's not even one gigahertz. Of course, Verizon is a huge player in the 5G networks in the United States. Now, the 5G cell protocol, by the way, at that 60 gigahertz, is allowable, from what I've been reading, up to 90 gigahertz, guys. That's only five gigahertz away from the US military's active denial system. Go read the Wikipedia article about the active denial system. I'm not gonna get into all that right here, but what I am gonna do is demonstrate with my cell phone on the 2.4 gigahertz versus the five gigahertz Wi-Fi frequency on a dual band Wi-Fi router. And mine is right here. It's about six feet from where I'm gonna be testing. That's 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. And spoiler alert, uh, I've discovered that about two sheets of aluminum foil blocks out 2.4 gigahertz on Wi-Fi, but it's basically taking a whole roll of my aluminum foil to fully block that 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi transmission. And I erroneously thought in a previous video that by disabling the service set ID or the SSID, that that uh, 5 gigahertz transmission would not be radiating throughout my environment. In fact, that's false. By just disabling the SSID, we're just making the name of the 5G network invisible for security and protection purposes. However, if you've got a dual band router like I do, guys, it's always transmitting or looking for that five gigahertz frequency. So in other words, that five gigahertz of extra, basically double frequency is beaming through your living area and stick around to watch the foil experiments because uh, it's really making me think twice about even having a dual band Wi-Fi router. I'm connected to my 2.4 gigahertz network right here. And yes, I understand about buffering, so we'll take that into account as we enclose this in one layer of aluminum foil. I already know through before doing this video that it's going to take two layers to block out the 2.4. Plus in that previous video I did that's getting tons of views, one layer of foil does not block out 2.4 gigahertz. But let's try two layers right here. Got to tuck them in the folds because any little airspace, guys, those uh, EMF frequencies can bleed through. All right, check that out. That did not take long at all. Oh, see that though? It's intermittent. That's two layers of aluminum foil. I'm six feet away from that router. There we go. It's already blocking out. It's right in that kind of zone where, you know, two layers of foil blocks out 2.4 gigahertz. All right, friends, I'm connected to my five gigahertz Wi-Fi network. Let's check it out. Same thing as before, one layer. 
I know that's not going to do it. So let's go on to layer three. And notice I'm taking care to tuck around the seams of the previously existing air spaces. Guys, I've got three layers of aluminum foil there and I've been waiting about probably 90 seconds and the buffering should have been finished by now. So let's go with four layers. Again, that's a, almost double the uh, what it took to block the 2.4 gigahertz, which would make sense, right? With double the frequency, double the layers of metal. All right, that's a solid four. Ah, uh, there we go. Silence. Yeah. It might come back like intermittently, I've noticed, with four layers. Notice that the two layers shut down the 2.4, four layers we have now on the five gigahertz. Whether or, or not we're using that 5G frequency, even if we are using it, guys, that's all that extra radiation just bombarding us 24-7, 365. Guys, if nothing else, don't keep your phone on your body. Turn it off whenever possible. Keep it at least two feet away from you when you sleep. Do not sleep with your phone next to your body or carry it around with you all day long. I'm just transmitting five gigahertz across the room. I mean, that's nothing compared to 60 gigahertz. And the protocol, again, allows up to 90 gigahertz, approaching that active denial system defense technology of 95 gigahertz. I look forward to reading your comments below, helping you shape the decisions you're making as far as protecting the EMF, electromagnetic field, radiation in your living environment.